Hey there, today we're gonna to be doing a 10 minute post race or post run stretch. A little bit of yoga, a little bit of breathing, a little bit of stretching, just to get you cooled down from a race or a, uh, a run. Uh, could be one mile, could be 20 miles, I don't know. It's just good to, it's really important to get a stretch, um, to stretch those muscles after your workout. Way more and more important afterwards than before. Uh, you really want to get those muscles stretched out and lengthened. So we're going to start. So you can keep your tennis shoes on or you can take them off. It's up to you and you don't even need a yoga mat. So all we want to do first is just take a few breaths. So bend the knees a little bit. Just take the hands and float them up to your chest and then down just to cool yourself down. You want deep breaths here. So inhaling, fill the lungs from the bottom all the way up to the top and exhaling every ounce of air out. So take deep breaths just to cool yourself down. Bring yourself back to a grounded center. One more time, let's just do one more breath. So as you run, you're going forward and back a lot. So you're forward mostly, you're, you're moving forward. So you're not really twisting or bending side to side. So we actually wanna work through those muscles as well. So you can straighten the legs, reach your hands all the way up and take a side bend, sending one arm across, look up towards the, that arm, reach up again, do the other side. Little bend in the knees is fine. Let's go back and forth again. So this is gonna be more of a dynamic type of yoga practice where we move and lengthen the muscles, less holding, more moving. And then come back up. We're just gonna twist. So you can take your hands to your hips or just turn to the side, hips forward. Turn to the other side. Look over that back shoulder. Side to side a couple times. Now reach those hands back up again with pretty wide legs. We're gonna dive it down. Bend your knees as much as you need to and just take the hands down towards the floor. I'm going to turn the side here, really shake out the head, relax so the upper body is loose. If you want, you can grab opposite elbows and shift side to side. So this is just a gentle hamstring stretch. Remember, bend the knees if you want more of a squat. That's cool. Relax the neck. Then take the hands back to the floor and roll yourself up. So it should be pretty much cooled down now. We're gonna work a little bit more to the leg. Step one foot forward, one foot back into a lunge, but take the knee to the floor. Hands down to the ground by the front foot and back and forth, stretch it out. So toes to the ceiling, half splits, then bring it forward to your knees only over the ankle. Hands are in line with the arch of the center of the foot. And then send it back again, back and forth. Nose towards your knee. Everybody's gonna look a little bit different here. As you come forward after a few of those, take your hands to the inside of the leg. We turn again here. Inside of the leg. Extend the back leg so you've got this long, low lunge. Hands to the inside, you'll feel the hip, the, the top of that back leg, the quad hip flexor. Same thing, straighten the leg and bring it forward. Straight leg, toes up, left back heel down, bring it forward. One more time. Let's get into the hips a little bit here. By turning the toes, actually take the back knee to the floor, turn the toes over away from your body and reach that top hand, open up. Okay, this is a little confusing, I know, but it really works the hips really nice. So left hand down or right hand up so you've got this twist. And then we open, drop the knee open and feel that hip. You can push the knee down. Play around here, you can lift the hips, open up, twist a little deeper. Back up to the top, we're in that lunge again. You want to stretch out the quad, back knee stays to the floor. Pick up the back heel, reach back around, find the foot. Maybe. This might feel pretty tight. Okay, let's take that foot down to the floor and step the feet forward. Other foot back. So let's go through that again. Back knee to the floor. We go back and forth. Sit back, rock it forward. So keep the spine long as you come forward. 
Crown of the head is reaching to the front of the room as you lunge. And then sit bones or that booty back to the heel as you sit back. Now bring it forward. You're going to walk the hands to the inside of the foot. Again, getting into that low lunge. Feel free to take the forearms to the ground. Depends on your flexibility. I'm just here uh, kind of making an assumption that a lot of us are feeling pretty tight. Take the back knee up off the floor. So toes on the ground, they're facing forward. Go back and forth, straight leg. It doesn't have to be all the way straight. It can be semi-straight, semi-straight. So if you only want to lift a little bit, hips up high, hips down low. Let's do one more. Gaze should be more forward towards the top of your front toes. And take the knee, back knee down. Open up that front knee. Drop it back behind you to the side. Up the hand down. Reach up, it's like a twist. And again, you can push it down. Feel that outer hip. Move around a little bit. I like to give freedom to play around in each position. So I don't think you have to hold in any certain area. Bring it back to the center. Now we do a step forward again. Now sit down. You're just going to sit down. Pretty simple. Sit down. And so we've done a little active stretch. You want to do a little bit more passive. Just roll yourself down and lift your legs. If you have a wall, you can, like, against there, you can lift your legs up on a wall and put your heels down. Just let the arms grow heavy. So this is getting the blood flow down the feet, down the upper body, getting circulation going again. Because when we run, we're sending so much blood to the lower, to, to the legs. We want to get that back up. It's probably the best thing you could do after a run. If you were to choose one thing, is put your legs up. Now take one leg down to the floor, other leg closer to the upper body. You can bend the knee a little bit, that's cool. So grabbing onto either your foot, your knee, ankle, whatever, open it to the side, placing opposite hand on the hip to keep it down. And spend as much time as you like in these positions. Bring that leg up, across. Now we switch hands and take it across your body for a twist. Bent knee or grab the toe, you'll feel the IT band. That's the outside, connects your hip to your knee. And then you bring it back up, both legs up again, switch sides. Hamstring stretch towards the upper body. Relax in the shoulders, tailbone should be down, let's flex. Then take the leg out away from you, opposite hand on the hip, just to keep yourself uh, mindful, keeping it down. Then we bring it back up. The leg goes across your body, keeping the shoulders anchored, getting away from the legs. Bring the leg back up, then you take both knees, hug them in, and roll up and down the spine until you come to just a seated position that's most comfortable for you. And those are a few stretches for you to do after a run or after any kind of workout to really get the legs just feeling a little bit better. Make sure that you spend as much time as you want in them. You can add a few poses, you can move around a little bit. Make it more dynamic so that we keep moving and getting that blood flow um, circulated through the body. So hope that was helpful to you and I hope to see you, you know, sometime in class. So check out my schedule if you want to go to my website, simplyashes.com or find me on Facebook, uh, Simply Ashes or backslash simply ashes yoga so on um, facebook.com so um, i hope to see you there make sure you just subscribe to my youtube channel i like to put up new videos every so often especially uh, now getting more into yoga practices and classes